Hi, it's Gwendolyn from Lifestyle Soap. Let me get in this chair. Oh, it's a funny chair, this. It really is a funny... It costs quite a, bit, quite a lot as well. Right, it's... What we're going to do, we're going to um, do the second part of the OSD Starry Night Centre by Don and Glenn Singer. And as you know, I like my uh, laminating. <laughs> so that's the picture, if you haven't already got it. Now... I am really well impressed with this. It's, I was a bit, do I really want to do a tiling scene? And uh, yeah, the stitching, the stitch quality is superb. If I could just show you sort of like one section of it. But it's actually really is superb. I am using a banana, so you know, Benina are renowned for their quality of embroidery, but even so, it's uh, it's actually quite impressive how they've actually, you know, well, they digitised it. I mean, I can digitise as well, so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to digitising, but it's well digitised. It really is um, when you finish. Now, we'll, we'll see how well this all goes together as a tile um and as you know from a previous video um i really did this because a dear friend of mine used to do cross stitch and she used to do all of these santa stuff and um and put them around her living room at christmas time and she used to mount them in a frame behind glass and take it down her old pictures and that and and i have tried it and I have still got some stuff and bizarrely enough, if I don't feel well or I've been bedridden and I've got up because you know, I've got a bad back. So if I've been in bed for a couple of days or something and I come downstairs and sometimes I'll get that out and have another little fiddle at it. But basically, um, I'm a machine embroiderer. I'm not um, a cross stitcher really um, or even an embroiderer. It's, it's, I just haven't got the patience and I haven't got the eyes. I just can't see what I'm doing. Um, but this is really nice. Now I do laminate. I have laminated this whole pattern. I probably won't do it again, but uh, for ease, it's quite, for, for me, it, it, it's, I don't make the mistake. Everybody has a different way of working. And for me, it's so I don't make a mistake and what I'm doing, and I mean, I still can make a mistake, but you know, the mistakes are minimum. Um, so I'll see sort of like number one and I know I'm doing this and I know I'm following this is what I've got to do to finish it and but the machine obviously pops up and tells you all the information that you need so I've already covered this I guess in the first video so this is this is the seventh one that I'm actually doing now I did change the thread as I did say I don't, have I said that I've made this video a few times so I keep on changing what I want to do. So I've actually changed the thread on the windows, um, on the Santa costume. I've made one uh, one section of it's gonna be um, metallic. So one part of the red is gonna be metallic and the other part of the red is gonna be what they say. I'm gonna do it on the actual, uh, all the white bits, uh, the Santa's cuffs and everything. Now for this one, I bought some, cheap stuff really I was trying to get a white and and eventually found a white on Amazon and it is it's it's really cheap but we will see how it works out so I, did, I think it was like a fiver or just under a fiver maybe um, but I will see how it works out and if it works out okay then I'll carry it if it doesn't then I'll just go back to the ordinary white and throw a bit of silver metallic in and what else am I putting the metallic on um, I think there's a sack, a green sack, that because it's shaded, I'm putting it only on one part of it, and then the other part obviously is shaded out. Uh, the windows uh, look amazing. I've got it on the computer, so I'm not sure if you can actually see it on the computer. On the stars, I put the stars in silver, so I put the stars 
actually in silver so far. You can see a couple of the stars that I've already done. So it's not the big one yet that's been done. Um, so that doesn't show up on camera, but it is quite glittery. I just wanted something to lift it to make it a little bit, you know, pop and to make it a bit more Christmassy for me. This is what, you know, I like. But obviously you don't have to do that if you don't have that. These are, um, you know, this is like the silver thread. I think you can see the more metallic stuff on. See if I can try and get it shiny. Yeah. And I thought to myself, oh, this is like a white one. This will work. But uh, <laughs> look at the difference. Obviously, it didn't work for the actual cuffs. It won't work for the cuffs. But, but the windows came up on this beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. What colour is this? This is YG081. But because the colours are very, very close together, I mean, um, I have got, for instance, this is my bag of metallic thread that I buy. Well, I bought over the couple of years. This thread and this thread, you would think, are exactly the same. I mean, obviously, this has got plastic on it at the moment, cover. But if you take the plastic off, which I have to check it, it's really, really, very, very, very similar. Uh, but it's not the same colour. <laughs> now, you would never have known that. So if you have a thread that's quite close to it, then use the other thread, you know, because there's no difference. I mean, this one is NB201 and this one is um, YH181. Now, I personally, from my eyes, cannot see what the difference is. Literally cannot see the difference. And I think these these are um, Kingstar. Are they Kingstar? I think they are, or something like that. Um, threads. So, but I think most of the metallic threads go through the machine absolutely fine. So we will just see how that other thread goes through. So that's on the thread bit. And I just want you to show, show you things. Cause you know, these, it, it really does take a long, 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 long time. So far, far longer than I anticipated. I knew it was gonna take a long time, but I had no idea how much it, it was really gonna take. So first, some of it is it changes color quickly. So it's okay, you can stay here. Just make sure you check your machine, regardless of what machine you have. If it says 20 minutes, um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's 20 minutes on that one color. I have found, because <laughs> I thought, oh, 20 minutes, I went downstairs. 10 minutes later, it changed the color. I had to come back up and um, change the color. But then it'll say 10 minutes or eight minutes. Well, you know, more or less. I'm gonna just sit here until it finishes changing the color. And then it'll say 90 minutes or 80 minutes or something. And um, well, there's no way that's gonna be one color, but you might get a stretch of it being like 30 minutes of it just doing the trees. And then it'll, it'll stop and you change and then put the white over the top and um, things like that. And that's the other thing. If this works out, this white uh, metallic, I wish I had it done. When it comes to the trees, the trees get put, um, you know, in their different, it's like a very fine light blue and it goes down. Cause you need to have this realistic look. And I'm not, I'm not sure if there's two or three changes of the thread, but the last thread that goes on, the last color that goes down for the tree stumps and everything will be a white. And when it comes to the white, I wish I would have put this down to make the trees glittery because that's where the snow is. That's where the snow's uh, drifting against the, the bark as it goes down. So that's where I wish I'd put this. I wish I'd waited and got this to put on there for the tree to really make it, you know, that real, real Christmassy look. But hey ho, I think I'm gonna have enough with the other stuff. Um, but I still would have liked to have done that. And I can't do that now because because I've done like seven odd trees. And yes, people can say, well, you can start again, there's 32 tiles. Are you joking? It's like four days, four, four, five days work. It's hours and hours, it's a day. And some, some of them are 40,000, 41,000 stitches. I mean, that is a very, very long time because it's not 
only that it's 41,000. It's you up and down, coming back, changing your thread. It all takes time to do that. And I have got, um, you know, a thread stand and that's all they are, thread stands. They're not color changers. They're just a stand to hold your thread on the back of the machine. That's all it is. And I'd, although I do use it for my threads and I need it to put it in to, to put through the machine, I prefer my threads next to me, right here. And what I'm using for that. So I only pull out the threads that I need for this. And um, with this system, she actually, luckily enough, has that. She'll say, only pull out five threads. You're gonna use them um, 10 or 12 times, but just pull the five threads because that's all you need for this particular design. And, and I thought that was really good because not all designers do that. So I'm just going to turn you around so you can just see what I'm doing for now. So you, just to get the, so I've just taken the cover off that I had. A, I just put a, a towel over. Obviously I can't put the full cover on um, because I've got my um, stand on. But I could have put the full cover on and just took the stand off and then just took it off like I normally do if I finish a project. But I'm lazy, so I've just put um, a, a piece of material over the top to protect the actual machine itself from the sun because it's really sunny in this front room. So now I've turned the machine on and this is what you get, which is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to press uh, and it's saying unhook it. So I'm just going to unhook it. And it's just showing you that. And then I'm just going to do this. And it's going to say now, I, I pressed the uh, needle, by the way. And now it's saying, put it back on. <laughs> All of these silly little things. And it is a silly little thing that when you first have an embroidery machine, this is what you worry about. And, um, but it's, no, it, it's, it's fine. That's all you ha have to do. Literally, it's flashing. So it's going to tell me it's not showing anything on here because we're only sewing this bottom bit. Although I've sewed the top bit, we're, the top design, we're, we're, it's not showing there. It's only going to show you this bit that you're working on. So it says 24, oh, I nearly have to change my threads. Um, IC cord um, 3743. Now I am using IC cord, as you know. Let me make sure I've got the 3743 on. Nope, I haven't. So I'm just going to cut the thread at the back, gently pull that out, and find 3743. 3743 is a dark one. Or you blue. It's a blue. So I also put 3743 here. So, oh, no, actually, I, I, I thought it would be really helpful to me, but it actually wasn't. I prefer to look here because it's on white. And I can see it better, but I might I might have been better off actually using the white pen. Um, I've got a white like um, pen that you can mark a pen. I'm just going to thread my machine up, and it's quite quickly. Make sure I get it in those discs. And for the people who don't know, yes, I have got a 15 foot on, um, an embroidery 15 foot. Yes, you would use your 26 foot, um, but, or you can use your 15 foot. I wanted the 15 foot on because it's got a bigger hole and I can actually see more what I'm doing as, as, as the other foot. Sometimes you can't see as much as what you're doing. So that's why I put that 15 foot on. So you just press your needle down, press it again. And it's just going to, I see it's pulled the thread up and I'm just going to hold on to this thread and just pull it back gently so it doesn't accumulate the thread underneath. And then I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to see what time it says. It says 31 minutes. So it's showing here what it's going to do for 31 minutes. And basically that's all you have to do. When you take the USB stick out of any that you actually release it out. You don't just take it out. That means you have to click onto that USB and you'll go up the top and uh, it'll say eject. You'll click down on um, 
one of the tabs at the top and it'll just on the left hand side and it'll say eject at the bottom and you just click that eject and get it out if you're using a Mac. I'm saying if you're using a Mac uh, as opposed to with PC because when you put the USB into the machine and you're using a Mac it'll, it'll say uh, there's no image it'll say boxes one two three four all the boxes you need it'll say no image and and that's absolutely right there's no image <laughs> Because there's literally no image in those boxes. You have to click along and then it starts. So it might be six or seven along before your actual, the first proper pattern. So don't panic about that. Think, oh, I'll take it out. The USB is wrong, blah, 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 blah. It is it is there. You just have to uh, just click along until you get it. And just make sure you click on the USB. Um, just press the US little B symbol at the top and that will um, show you the designs that are on the stick. And, the, and you can still add, obviously, from embroidery side of it, if you want to add any other things to add on to a design, um, that's absolutely fine. In this case, you can't add anything on because it's uh, there's nowhere to add anything on. If you wanted to add a Santa Claus, there's no space to add a Santa Claus because it's a tile. It's all tightly fitted and it is stitch intense. There's loads and loads of stitches in this. But the good news is you've got two layers of um, heavy stabiliser. You've got tear away. Yes, you can use cut away. Of course. Um, but tear away, the only reason why you're doing tear away is I can show you on this. Okay, so this is the back. Okay, so you're gonna, did I put tear away on this? Yeah, it is tear away. So I put tear away on it, it's, it's double, so it's hard to tear. I've got no strength, so it's hard for me to tear, but there, it's, it is tear away. Okay, so you're gonna tear away all your main stuff, and then this little tiny bit here, you're gonna fold that back, because there's the line of stitches. Okay, you, you line, this is just an outer line. It's not the actual 